Hello all, welcome to this short demo on how to install Visual Studio on Windows 10. Now I have downloaded and installed the 64-bit Windows 10 technical preview. Given that the final version of Windows 10 is just a few months away, uh, I'm sure not much is going to change as far as the installation is concerned. So once you've installed Windows 10 64-bit edition, you can open up Internet Explorer and do a simple search for download Visual Studio 2015. Right, this is the recommended version for Windows 10 and click on Visual Studio Downloads. Here we go. Now, there are two options. You have the Community Edition and the Enterprise. You can just scroll down. Uh, right now, VS 2015 is in release candidate. But again, as I said, most of those final little fine-tuned features we might not be even be using. So, it's nothing for us to really worry. Click on Visual Studio 2015 and download the Professional Edition. Okay, You probably get a 60 or a 90 day trial. I would recommend using this uh, within your VM. And then format, it just depends what you like. If you have enough bandwidth, you can download the complete ISO. But I prefer the web installer. So I'm going to click on that. We're going to go with the professional 2015 RC edition. Now for me, the download has started and I'm running it. In your case, you may be asked to go ahead and uh, enter your Microsoft account and log in. I've already logged in. So if you have an account, great. If not, create one, create it for free. And then you can log in. Actually try to go full screen on this VM. So now the Visual Studio guided install will start. Uh, it says setup requires around 10 gig. Sounds good. You can go ahead, click install. And the whole process would start. Now I'm going to be pausing this video just so that at critical points when any input is required, uh, we can show you what is needed, right? Or else you're just going to watch me spend probably the next hour installing Visual Studio. So I'm just going to pause this video. Okay, so looks like we've finished installing. Again, you probably did not get any prompt or anything in between. So it was just as simple as that. Let's launch and check if everything worked fine. running this in a VM so you might have to be a bit more patient so we'll choose the dark one <laughs> that was a no-brainer Right, this is just the first time that it takes a bit more, uh, you know, amount of time to go ahead and configure everything. Later on, when you open projects, things should be faster. Uh, the other thing is I've installed this in the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview program. Uh, there's a technical preview as well. So, but as I said, later on when Windows 10 is out and you've upgraded, uh, 
I think at least for the purpose of this class, there shouldn't be much difference, right? And this is the reason why I've actually shot the videos on Windows 8.1 as well as on 10. Though we'll take some examples on Windows 10. I mean, as I said, again, from our purposes, it does not make too much of a difference. Let's wait for it. It's taking a little bit more time. In the meantime, let's do some more downloads. Now, if you search for download kits and tools for Windows 10, uh, you would end up on this page. And what we would like to download, even though some of these components are already installed, would be the standalone SDK, the Windows driver kit, and uh, the universal Windows driver samples, right? Just so that we might go ahead and use some of them for our demos. Let's save each of these. So this seems to take us to GitHub. Now the easiest thing to do is just to download the zip file. Right, interestingly, all the device driver samples are now on GitHub. Let's open the download folder. Now, many of these components have already been installed with Visual Studio. Uh, I think we needn't do anything specifically. But, okay, there you go. So, Visual Studio has opened up. Looks great. Click on new project. Most of the stuff which you'll be looking at visual, would be Visual C based uh, projects, right? So you have Visual C++ in here. This is what we're going to be looking at. I'll actually close this for a minute. Once we've exited this, can go in here and let's first install the SDK setup, right? Many of these components should already be in there, but let's go ahead. Let's click next. It's quite straightforward. Of an installation. Right. The most important thing, of course, for us is the debugging tool for Windows. And given we, you might actually want to do other stuff later, and this is a test machine, so probably just want to install everything. Right, again, I'm just going to go ahead and pause this video and wait for all of this to get installed. Okay, so we've finished installing the software development kit. Let's click close on that. Now, after this, we'll install the WDK, right? In order to go ahead and compile some of our device drivers uh, for going ahead and doing kernel mode debugging, we would need the WDK. So this requires a decent amount of space, five gigs. Let's go ahead and install it. Again, I mean, unbelievably, this is quite a straightforward process of just clicking next and next and having the entire thing go ahead and install. So I'm going to go ahead and again pause this video while the WDK is getting installed. Okay, so looks like finally our Windows driver kit has installed as well. Let's just go ahead and close this. And now, if we start Visual Studio, 
for it. If you go up and start Visual Studio, you should find everything is installed. So we probably have a lot more components than we might use. But as I said, it's a VM. You never know later on, even after the course, what other things you might need to explore. So it isn't entirely a bad idea to have it. Of course, if you're very picky and choosy, then you could just have installed the debugging tools uh, and probably Visual Studio to compile some of the samples we might give out. And then you could have probably not had language support for stuff like F sharp and things like that, or you know, the Windows Phone Kit, uh, the Windows RT app stuff, and everything. Hmm. Visual Studio seems to be taking some time to start. Even though I have four gig of memory allocated to this VM, which is quite decent. But probably simply because we've gone ahead and installed so many things. Uh, and you can already see the little driver uh, menu appear up there, which means the device driver kit has been properly installed as well. Fantastic. Okay. Now, if you click on new project, hmm. let's wait for it. <laughs> There we go. Right, if you basically now click on new project, you would actually find that there is a device driver part as well, which appears, which means your WDK has been installed, right? Uh, in previous versions of Visual Studios, the device driver kit sometimes was not integrated and then you would have to run it you know, outside of Visual Studio, but now that it is, it simplifies a lot of things. Now the samples are here as well, which, you know, we might use, we might not use, but it's a good to have thing. Uh, also just verify that you have win DBG, right? Both the 32 and 64 bit version. So you can run that, just verify it runs fine. There we go. Right, so we have the win DBG installed as well fantastic so seems like we have most of our setup done as far as windows 8 is concerned and that's all for this video and we'll see you in the next one thank you